Well, happy August 2018. Mike Sparrow here, and on behalf of uh, Brother Jim and Kathleen Caseman, uh, we're just grateful for your involvement in AFCM, and it's a privilege for me to be able to share this month's faith aid with you. As maybe you can see, I'm on vacation. Uh, Jan and I are down in Southern California, where my son and his family live here in Irvine, and we've been gone for a few days. We're in Arizona for Jan's dad's seven, or 90th birthday, and uh, my, how time flies. Anyway, this month I want to just talk to you about a couple things that maybe have to do with vacation. And even though we can be on vacation, those of us in ministry know that the cares and the needs of the people we serve, unfortunately, they never take vacation. Even this morning, 6.30, I was woken up by a call by my worship pastor. His father, who's been a long-term member of our church and a close friend, uh, died this morning. His heart stopped of heart failure. Uh, just a few minutes after that, as we're getting up, uh, Jan gets a phone call and another long-term member of our church, she just got a medical report that she they found a mass on her lungs. And so Jan uh, got into a time of ministry and encouragement for her. And then uh, before staff meeting, I called in just to pray with our staff as they were meeting and they're planning the memorial service for a gal in our church who had MS long-term. Now she graduated to glory, but left behind a special needs son who's in his late 20s that's been in our church for many, many years, and some of his care will fall to members of our church. So we can be on vacation, but the needs of our church, our ministries don't really take vacations. That's why I, I, I years ago, this book was from the 80s. It's called Rhythm of Life, written by Richard Exley's third generation pastor. Somebody gave me that book back then and I still keep it with me and still refer to it because it talks about the rhythm of life, the rhythm of living that helps us to stay in that place of abundant life that Jesus talked about. And this rhythm of life that Richard Exley refers to has really four components that in my mind I try and uh, balance against or, or think about uh, how I'm living my life. And those four components are worship, work, rest, and play. And keeping those things in a mindful, uh, appropriate balance helps me stay refreshed and renewed. So let's just talk about them. Number one is worship. And for me, worship, it's more than just what's going on Sunday morning. For me, it's the things I'm feeding on, the connections that I have with the Lord, things that He's been speaking to my heart that keeps me connected to Him. And Psalm 37, it's, it's you know, familiar to you. I'm sure you've preached off of it. But, you know, it, it's, it's chock full of promises. And it goes like this. And there's promises even in here concerning our worship and our work and our rest. It, it says this in uh, Psalm 37, 3, Dwell in the land and feed on His faithfulness. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and what will you do? He'll give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in Him, and He shall bring it to pass. He shall bring forth your righteousness as noonday. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for Him. And so, even some of those components that Richard actually talked about, those four components are in that psalm. But in my personal worship lately, the idea of delighting myself in the Lord has been huge. Like, do I delight in Him, or do I just ask him do I just petition him or do I really delight myself in him in a devotional not too long ago the Lord spoke to me about a couple things he talked to me about this he said my people they love me for how I make them feel and in that same conversation he, he was talking to me about they they love the mind the concept of me that I'm with them but do they really love me and so when he's talking to me about they, I often ask them, well, how about me? Am I delighting in you, Lord? Am I just coming to you for things, for relief, or am I really delighting myself in you? And it, it talk, brought me into a study of worship and thanksgiving and gratitude. In our life group on Wednesday night, we're going through these wilderness mindsets. And the author there, James McDonald, he said this, the number one thing God punished in the desert uh, it wasn't really just sexual morality or idolatry. Those were connected, but he, he punished them for murmuring and complaining. So part of my worship lately is God help me to be, Holy Spirit help me to be grateful and thankful and not just a complainer. So that's the worship part. The work part, keeping our work fruitful and meaningful. Uh, Jeff Bauer, who's associate pastor, is helping us in staff meeting to set up six by sixes, which are six things we want to accomplish in the next six weeks and it helps us stay on task and on track and it really helps us measure our fruitfulness so that's something i've implemented we've implemented lately just to help us 
in our work, to be fruitful and effective in our work. So that's worship and work. And rest, I know this, that sometimes I have trouble resting, that I have a busy mind even when I go to bed at night. And so there's natural things to do. I, I found out the melatonin and vitamin D3, that, that's helping me. Taking some of that, it's a natural way just to help me relax and get better rest. Uh, we've been turning off the news before bed. Sometimes I'd go to bed with the news and now there's other things that we've been listening to in, in replace of that. Not, I'm still working on that part. But there, there's things that I just need to do to shut down my mind, to allow myself to rest, as the psalmist said, to delight in him, to rest in him. So that's work, worship, rest, and then play. And play is an important component, and there's times I wouldn't let myself play. I, I just felt like, uh, you know, work, demands, it's just too hard to uh, set time aside to play. So this is uh, several years ago, I decided to take Monday as my Sabbath, but also to in, in put in that play time. So almost every week, there's a group of guys, we just play a short game of golf and go to breakfast, and it's usually comic relief when we're playing golf because my game resembles golf, and or uh, playing volleyball. And then there's times as well that uh, we do things just to make sure that I'm getting to download or just get off steam by playing. Even last night, Jan and I came down to Southern California. It's where we grew up. And so we visited her high school and my high school last night. There were rival high schools down here and reminisced, had time together, went down on the beach and got to watch the sunset at Newport. Uh, putting those little components in, uh, you know, it's not always being able to go away on a two week vacation or a five day vacation. It's having those little times of worship, rest, work and play worked into our schedule that helps bring just renewal and relief and keeps us sharp and keeps us fresh in the Lord. And I pray that you found a rhythm in your life, something that's working to keep you renewed, keep you refreshed in the Lord, strong in the Lord, sharp in the Lord, uh, encouraged in the Lord, because scripture says to watch over our heart with all diligence, out of it flows the issues of life. I know when I'm in a good rhythm, my heart is good. My heart is strong, my heart is full of faith, my heart is encouraged, and that's what I pray for you. So uh, allow me, if you would, just to pray for us as AFCM members, uh, as this part of Faith Aid, August 2018. Father, thanks for AFCM. I just counted a privilege, God, to be a part of the support team, the executive support team, and uh, a department head under Jim and Kathleen Caseman. I thank you for everything AFCM's doing. I'm grateful as well, Lord, at our last family reunion to hear the stories of how you're impacting people, changing lives through the principles we learned in AFCM. I ask in Jesus' name that you help those listening to develop their own rhythm, to stay strong in you, keep their heart strong before you, and their heart connected in love with people. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. It's been a privilege to share this month.